Hey YouTubers, in this video we're going to be driving some staples with the Wii Tools 3-in-1 stapler and we're going to be looking at how it drives brads, U staples, and regular staples. So stay tuned and I'll show you guys how this thing works, it's pretty cool. Hey YouTubers, I've got a video review for everybody here. This is a Wii Tools 3-in-1 stapler and I've tested it previously off camera so I can kind of cut down the video and show you guys exactly how it works and we're going to test a few things on camera here so you guys can get an idea of how this thing actually works. So right there on the board you can kind of see I'm opening up a little bag of U staples here but the board you can see here let me put it in frame for you so these three are out of the box you know that's just the way it came this one here is pretty much max pressure and I'm sorry if you can't really see that too well on the camera but you can kind of see these are raised up these three are this one's a little more flush so that's your regular staples okay and you can see this has a nice rubber molded handle you can see your sizes down here. Now they may be metric, but you should be able to find the corresponding staples. And then let's see if we can get these U-shaped ones in here to work. And we'll go from there. And we'll try these. Let's see here. Now I've readjusted the pressure to pretty much as close as I can get it to from out of the box. That's not too bad right there. Or depending on what kind of wire you want, you don't want to smash the wire. So let's dial this down just a little bit and we'll try it again. Not much difference there. Sorry if you can't really see that too well. Let's try it just a little more because this knob's hard to turn. So there you go, you can kind of see them right there, They're about three different sizes. So this little pressure knob adjusts everything obviously. You can now it's a little different from the DeWalt's that I have. I have a 4-in-1, in case anybody hasn't seen that. It's a TAC driver, I believe it's called. This is your pressure adjusting knob. And it does work. You can see the difference in those. And then let's try some of these little brads here. And we'll give these guys a little... Let's grab a pack of one of the little sticks out of here. Drop out those, and these go down the side from what I understand. A little different from my other one. Let's try them. Get that in there. We've raised the pressure back up on it. There it is, and it's just sticking up a little bit. Let's try it again. That one went a little further. Let's try a little bit of pressure here. Give it about three turns. Now it does staple on the right side only, so you'd have to be, if you're stapling material and you're going in a line, you'd have to make sure that you're stapling at the correct, you know, it's on this side only. It's not in the center of the gun. So it might be also, let me try a different spot that's a little cleaner down here. All right. So it's still sticking up a little bit. I don't know if, how well you can see that on camera. It is sticking up just a little bit. Let's try turning it down just a little bit more. Give it about two or three more turns. Now, the one thing I notice about this, you do need a pretty tight grip to get this to go down when you turn the pressure up. Just saying, uh, it might be stating the obvious, but I mean, for people who have a you know, hard time with their hands or can't use hand tools for very long or anything like that, this may be a little more cumbersome for you to use and you may not like it. But for the price, it's not bad. And I'll have the information on this on my Amazon Influencer page. And you guys can look that up in the link below and I'll also have it in the corner of the screen or anywhere I can put it for you guys to find it. So. 
but you can kind of see how everything works with this. It does a pretty decent job. For the price, it's not bad. If anybody has any comments or questions, and comparing it to my other one wouldn't really be fair because it is a totally different design, but this one is a really nice staple gun. So if anybody has any comments or questions, please put them down below. I will answer them as fast as I can. And I will also be doing more videos here soon. So look forward to that. And if you guys can let me know how I'm doing, give me a like if you liked the video, dislike if you didn't like it. And don't forget to subscribe if you want. It really helps the channel grow and then I can get these videos out to anyone else. So thank you for watching. Have a good one. Don't work too hard. Take it easy. Bye.